Four chefs are out to prove they can master this market. Let's meet them. First up, Rocky Durham, an executive chef and co-founder of the Santa Fe Culinary Academy in New Mexico. Next, Tia Harrison is an executive chef as well as a butcher all the way from San Fran, California. And then there's Carolyn O'Reilly, a chef and restaurant consultant from Los Angeles, California. And finally, Tom Lynn is a restaurant owner and father of four from Milford, Michigan. Okay, chefs, we're gonna get rolling with something that's designed to make you all shine. I want you to prepare your best dish, period. This is as simple as ABC. Matter of fact, it's called ABC, and in the jar, this contains like a virtual alphabet soup of letters. So, you gotta prepare your best dish using only the ingredients that begin with the letter that I pick out. <laughs> your letter is G. In three, two, one, go! When I think of my best dish, I'm imagining something Southwestern. I'm gonna do a Southwestern taco with ground beef. We're all running for ground meat. I'm gonna make ground veal, ground lamb patty. And I'm trying to figure out what's gonna have the best color, the best flavor. I'm gonna make a New Orleans inspired gumbo and ground beef. The gumbo itself is a package. We could do that. But I really want more flavor there. So I'm gonna make spicy ground lamb in the lettuce wrap. The green peas, a nice crunchy vegetable, go with the lamb. 90 seconds left. I am in it to win it. It's time to get my dish plated and looking good. 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. I only put a little bit of gumbo on each one of my lettuce wraps. I would have liked to put more because the flavor of the gumbo was really delicious. But I just felt I didn't want to take the risk of crunch with the rice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. All right. Chef Tom, what do you have for us? Well, I make you today judge the spicy ground lamb lettuce wrap with the side of the grape lettuce uh, salad. Up next, Chef Carolyn. I made a New Orleans style lettuce wrap. I put ground beef and then I put a topping of gumbo to enhance it a bit more. Up next, Chef Tia. I made you a ground lamb and veal patty with a garbanzo puree and a salad of green bean and grape. Last but not least, Chef Rocky. I've made for you a little southwestern taco interpretation. I used green leaf lettuce and then I made a refried garbanzo bean with wajillo chili, roasted green chili sauce, and I garnished that with a little goat's cheese. Chefs, I've got to tell you how impressed I was with your resourcefulness to find things with letter G. But unfortunately, one of you has to go home. The chef that we'll be checking out will be Chef Carolyn. Oh. For your next challenge, I want you to make the judges a show-stopping starter. For a great starter, I need great ingredients. You got 30 minutes to shop, prepare, and plate. A show-stopping starter. You got any questions? No. no Good. Ready? Well, I've got one question. Have you guys ever seen any of those clearance items when you go shopping? You know, like you kind of come by that bin. Some of the weird products that nobody wants. Cans? We're talking about the cans that are like missing the oh. labels. How bad would that be? I mean. If we just had a whole competition called like, um, how about clearance carts? Clearance cart? Oh no, I'm in trouble. There are three bins of clearance items here. Some have labels, some don't. Some are funky, some are unique, different. And in five, four, three, two, one, go! For a show-stopping starter, I'm gonna make a selection of rillettes. A rillette is a real old-school pate. Rillettes can be vegetarian or seafood. I see egg. I know egg is good for a lot of recipes. Then I see mayo. Then I found bean. I instantly think sweet and savory. Pancake. I was feeling a little bit worried, but I figured I would find at least one really good ingredient. Some type of protein. Oh, mystery meat. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just looking for some funky ingredients there to really stand out. And then I grab smoked ham hocks. I run around to the next cart. I grab mushrooms. I grabbed a bag of pretzels, because I thought, why not? 
So I've got waffles. I'm grabbing all of these crazy random items and I'm really hoping that I'll be inspired. I'm very curious about the mystery meat. No idea what I'm gonna make. I open the mystery meat. It's chicken tenders. I've got waffles. Boom. I'm gonna make chicken with a pretzel crust and a maple waffle. This is money. 90 seconds. To make a show-stopping starter, you have to make things eye-appealing. I really want the presentation to be mind-blowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop oh. working. Yeah. Nice job, Chef. Nice job. This is a $20,000 pancake. There's no way I'm going home. Judge, I make you the Asian sausage with corn and beans pancake with mayo. Chef Tom, thank you very much. Next up will be Chef Rocky. Thank you. What I've made for you is a trio of rillettes. I have a breakfast pork sausage rillette, a lobster scallop and salmon salad, and then the beet served on top of a parsley emulsion. Chef Tia, what do we have? Okay, I have some chicken and waffle appetizer action for you with some sauteed peppers, ham hock, and oyster mushroom, and then a little bit of pomegranate cayenne aioli underneath. All right, chefs, very difficult challenge, but unfortunately one of you has to check out, and the chef that will be checking out will be Chef Tom. Chef Tia, Chef Rocky, this is the game that decides who will be going on a shopping spree worth up to 20,000 bucks. All right, chefs, for your final battle, I want you to make me a classic dish. I'm talking real deal old school. Paella, beef bourguignon, duck l'orange, or some other fancy word that I can't pronounce that well. Something that says classic dish to you. Make sense? Mm. Okay. And in three, two, one. Wait a second. <laughs> you guys look nervous. <laughs> I want you to chill. That's right. Welcome to Frozen Food Feud. For your dish, the ingredients must come from the frozen food section. How do you feel about that? Great. I feel good. Yeah. In three, two, one. I'm running to the frozen food aisle. My mind was racing. I'm gonna make Italian style fish stew. I'm grabbing shrimp, scallops, salmon, and any other seafood that I wanna add to my dish. Cassoulet is my favorite dish. I've taught cassoulet at the academy. Love cassoulet. I grab the ducklings. There's frozen onions, there's frozen garlic, there's frozen stock, and brioche for my breadcrumb topping. One minute. Yeah, my heart was beating. I don't want my fish stew to be really watery and flavorless. 30 seconds. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. There is, in fact, $20,000 on the line. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. Nice job. Job done. Chef Tia, please tell the judges what you made for them. I made a fish stew. Next up, Chef Rocky. When you first started talking about a classic dish, right away, cassoulet came screaming to mind. So the chef that will be checking out will be Chef Rocky. You have two minutes to find as many of these items as possible. Each item you check off the list and put in the cart will be worth 2,000 bucks. Grab all 10 items and you will win, can I hear it? $20,000 in three, two, one, go! Go get them, Tia, go get them! Strawberry ice cream. I've never been known to be a fast runner. Smoked meat. She knew exactly where it was because she had gone it for the ham hocks earlier. I'm just trying to take the corners gracefully without wiping out and falling. We've got whole wheat flour tortillas or a bottle of soda. 10 seconds, bottle of soda! Bottle of soda! I'm short two items. I've got like five seconds left. Four, three, grab the bottle of soda! I ran over there as fast as I could. Time to boom! Nails it with a bottle of soda! I am feeling ecstatic. You rocked the house!